In the digital age, Interstellar, the latest futuristic sci-fi epic from director Christopher Nolan, is a throwback to film exhibitions of the past, thanks to 70mm IMAX film. The finest filmmakers in the world have a thing for IMAX. Whether it's J.J. Abrams, Jim Cameron, Alfonso Cuaron, and none more than Chris Nolan. Our business evolved when we realized that to really expand our audience and bring in a different kind of filmmaker, we had to supplement our documentary movie making, the whales, bears, seals, and space movies, with Hollywood films. The best way of getting the best movies would be forging relationships with the best filmmakers. And that's what we've done. And Chris Nolan has been our advocate, our strong advocate, since 2004 when we started working on Batman Begins. And every single time, he's taken the bar and moved it a little bit forward, a little bit more each time. Studios and theaters have moved almost exclusively into digital production and distribution, where almost no film is used. However, Interstellar is also being screened in select theaters around the world in celluloid prints, with IMAX footage printed directly from the camera negative, despite its much higher cost. Interstellar is a movie that an hour and six or seven minutes of it is filmed with IMAX cameras, our 2D film 70 millimeter cameras. IMAX film capture, which is something that J.J. Abrams is doing right now with Star Wars. Brad Bird did it with Ghost Protocol. Chris has done it with most of his last decade's worth of movies, is still the finest way to capture an image. It has resolution upwards of 12 by 18K, and that's a, that's a tall bill to fill in digital. So it's not just about resolution, it's about the contrast, it's about bit depth, it's about many other things that immerses you into the image. Film stock captures and preserves an organic quality and color range that digital cannot yet match. Pixels, as you probably know, in the still cameras you have or in your phone are square things. They're little tiny photosensitive um, mechanical pieces. Those are about five microns in size, very, very tiny. About 20 of them in the size of a human hair. In a piece of silver halide, that, which is a piece of film emulsion with photosensitive um, silver halides. In that five micron piece, there's 17 pieces of silver halide. They're organic, they're um, different sizes, that there's nuance, there's organic feel in film capture. Chris loves you to see his movie the way he intended, shot on film and projected on film, to get all that nuance and that organic feel of those little tiny silver halide crystals. More than 40 theaters in the U.S. and Canada are showing Interstellar in 70 millimeter IMAX prints that require two projectionists because of the size and complexity of screening the large format print. It takes six to eight hours to assemble the nearly three hours of footage onto a single reel. It weighs about 600 pounds. Interstellar is 49 reels. Uh, it has special clamps on the edge to make sure we get the very most uh, out of the platter. Sometimes you get a little bit annoyed in movie theaters. You have tons of trailers. And the film version of this movie, there are no trailers because they won't fit. IMAX 70 millimeter cameras have also been used in the upcoming Star Wars film, The Force Awakens. Another sign that motion picture film, invented about 125 years ago, still has a future. David Morgan. Here we go. CBS News.